Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Harp 64 gigabyte image. This one will fit on most 64 gigabyte SD cards. There will be some links in the description. Uh, as far as getting this uh, image, there'll be a link in the description as well. I do highly suggest using Mega Downloader when you're using it because you are getting it through Mega and they do have caps. I'll put links in the description to help you with all that. And at the end of the video here, you can see how to write the image and get it all working, as well as configuring your controls and setting up RetroArch. Let's go check out this image. There we go. We got an emulation station. One gamepad. They have the Logitech. Nice. Let's go ahead and configure this up. But wow, it's pretty fast. This image is pretty quick. Look at it go. Look at that. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, Name for All has 2,296 games. Sega Master System. 281. Sega Genesis, 782. Nintendo 64, all 303, which is the same on all images out there. Neo Geo, 142. Nintendo NES, 791. MS-DOS, two games. What do I got? Okay, no. So no MS-DOS. You just have the startup there. PZ Engine, also known as Turbo Graphics. Pretty nice. 291. Ports, we got Cody, PSP, nice that we got this, 294 PSP games, pretty nice. No uh, video previews for that. PlayStation, 19 games, so the pretty typical 19 it looks like. No uh, Scum VM, nothing. Sega 32X, 33. The uh, Japanese Super Nintendo, 486. Regular Super Nintendo, all 786. TurboGrafx-16, 94. We've got Cody in two spots. We've got it here, and we've also got it under ports. 72, 52 hundos. 54, 78 hundos. 76 Atari Lynx. No Dreamcast. Game Gear. 249. So as far as the video previews, it looks like you have them for no video previews for Game Gear. Where's the Game Gear love, y'all? So it has the option. Maybe I'm just not letting it load long enough. They should have it for Batman, right? If anything. Okay. Yeah, so no video previews for Game Gear. Mame though. In my personal opinion, I feel like these video previews are the mo are the best for Mame and Final Burn Alpha because there's so many games that not many people have ever heard of. So it's way cooler to me to be able to like go through the games with videos before you have to load the game and try it out. Like this kind of gives you the general idea of what this game is all about. It should work. It might not be configured. We'll check it out. Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so there you go, motion blue. Motion blue in it up. Scum, nothing. Sinclair, nada. Track mode, favorites. It's got that Cody. Okay, so arcade classics. All in here. The artwork is not set up though. So as you can see, you can run this in a track mode. I'm going through all the different favorites. It's got them all loaded up, but none of the wheel, none of, so the videos will transfer over. What won't transfer over though is see where it says no image available. Oh no, they have it, okay. So for Atari, it's done. Oh, because MAME, you won't have the, um, there's no none of the titles for MAME. So Atari has it though. You go to the Atari games. This is pretty cool that we have a um, Winter Games you no know, preview. Okay. Looking pretty good.
See Nintendo 64. So it's not quite all the way set up if you want to run a track mode. Like you you can download these image files pretty easily though. Um, or just run it through emulation station. So like Nintendo's all set up though. Super Nintendo's not set up. Super Famicom, the Japanese Super Nintendo, nope. Neo Geo's got them, but no videos. Sega 32X is all set up. Those are still, no, no Dreamcast. Sega Genesis, all set up, that's nice. Sega Master Systems, all set up. Maybe some of the games have snaps. I thought I saw a snap, okay, so no videos for those. Mega Drive's all set up. Sega CD. So it looks like this person didn't set it up for a track mode. But as you can see, the way the motion blue is set up, uh, when you're dragging and dropping your ROMs and things, the person dragged and dropped some in the correct places. So if you wanted this to be totally beautiful and finished in a track mode, you can definitely do it. Oh, you see the PSP doesn't. Oh, there you go. PSP minis. Some of these games are kind of cool, the PSP minis. Got some MSX2. No scum. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning. Okay, so let's boot back into Emulation Station. Okay, so I'm having some issues with the Ataris. That might just be my controller. Having a couple little little issues. Um, let's try links. Okay, so links works. Let's try with a different emulator here. Try some Libretro. There we go. There we go. Coins work. A little light on the sound, but we got full screen, which is nice. Graphics look good. Get out of here, dude. There we go. Look at that, buddy. Boom! My controls are a little messed up here. Yeah, buddy! Okay. So my controls were a little weird to get started, but I think I have it set up now. Sega Master System. Let's just double check, make sure that's working. There we go, that's working. Sega Genesis. That's working. Nintendo 64. Look at that, they even have the game art. Wow, look at that, that's so nice. It's just so organized and cute. You can get to see the little cartridge. God dang. Okay, let's find a game in here. Bust to move 99. Looks like it's loading. MuPen 64. That's a good one to be loading on. So Nintendo 64 games are a little loud. Sorry, guys. It's going to be a little loud on this. Okay, there you go. All right, not bad. Okay, so that worked. N64, Neo Geo should work.
Nice. That's working just fine. I am a ninja. My life is lonely and typical. I feel you, bro. I feel you. I think about that every day. Okay, so this is working good. Do they have metal slug on here? Let's check that out. M. Metal slug one, two, three, five, and X. Let's go ahead and load five. Alright, this works. What else do we have here? NES. Let's go. Whoop. NES. Adventure Island. Numero uno. Alright, that's working just fine. Let's just double check Cody works. Good. Whoa! Didn't want to power off system, but well, we can shut down the Pi from here. <laughs> Super Nintendo. Alright, Super Nintendo works. Super Famicom, let's try Acrobat Mission. That seems to be working just fine. Oh yeah. Sega thirty two X afterburner. That looks to be working just fine. I think the only thing oh the PSP minis and the PlayStation I think are the ones that we haven't tested yet. So PlayStation, let's do uh uh Mortal Kombat trilogy. Okay, that's working. And then PSP, 4x4, four four, jam! Nice. Full screen. Arrow racer. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't even know. Okay, so this works. Alright guys, so there you have it. Cool little image. P PlayStation, PSP, you know, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Genesis. So I think this is, you know, people are asking for an image, well, does it have all this stuff? And so I think this is a good starting image. It has the motion blue on there. It has the track mode. It has Cody. The thing you do need to do on this image is set up your retro arc controls. So in order to do that, go to retro pie, retro arc, and then uh, please follow this step-by-step -step settings, uh, input. Oh, no, I'm going to go back. Configuration. Make sure this is on. See how it's on now? Okay. On. Okay, on. Then you can go into input. Then you want to go into input hotkey binds. And you just want to make sure you have something for the quit retro arc. And you have something for enable hotkeys as well. Make sure you know what that is, either on your keyboard or your controller. And then we'll go uh, back from here. And then we're going to go to input user one bind. You should have the right controller. I have my Xbox 360. And uh, this is where I just bind all. It's easy to do that on my Xbox 360. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button. So it's saying, give me B, which is the lower left. 
this is upper left button on my Xbox 360, and I'm going to select start, then D-pad up, down, left, right, and then A is my bottom right button, X is my upper right button, L buttons on the on the triggers, and then uh, your back triggers, and then the press your thumbs in, and then now uh, we have right, left, down, up on the left analog, and then the right analog, right, left, down, up. And now I'm done. And I'm going to go back, 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 quit retro arc, boom, you are done. So that's how you uh, configure that, and that's going to be for your, um, for your libretro games and your main games. Okay? If you want to go into track mode, you just click the switch to track mode here. If you want to install, get your Wi-Fi set up and install